Hello, my name is Shirley Gordon, and once again, we are in the process of interviewing members of Greater St. John Missionary Baptist Church who have family members that helped to bring this church to where it is today as we begin to celebrate our 100th year anniversary. And we also want to focus on auxiliaries of the church. Now, you know, we always tend to think that children are the only ones that have a need for Sunday school. But I'm here to tell you, the spiritual need of adults is very different. Adults have to deal with issues related to dating, marriage, family, parenting, work ethics, finance management, you name it. And this requires setting aside some time when these issues can be addressed. What better way for them to be addressed than through Sunday school and learning what Sunday school is all about for adults. Needless to say, I'm not going to say anything else about it. We have a very special person with us today. His name is Darren Washington. He is the Assistant Superintendent of the Sunday School of Greater St. John Missionary Baptist Church. Welcome, Darren Washington. Oh, thank you, Ms. Shirley. Listen, I, enough said by me. I want you to tell us, as Assistant Superintendent of Greater St. John Missionary Baptist Sunday School, what, tell us about the Sunday School. Well, I can give you some things about the Sunday School, the dates and times that it was started and everything like that. Uh, St. John slash Greater St. John Sunday School was started in 1922. Our Sunday School is also 100 years old this year, and that is something to celebrate. St. John's first superintendent was Reverend B.B. Brad Berry. And due to some type of issue, Reverend Bradbury did not complete his full term in office. And Sister Mary P.G. became the new superintendent. And after Sister G's term ended, there was Roy Neal, Robert Henry, James Sims, Jesse Love, Aaron Wright, Laura Lark Brown, who is my mother-in-law, Shirley Gordon, Melvin Johnson, and our current superintendent is Sister Jean Walker. In June of 2014, Sister Walker instituted the Golden Girls. Shortly after becoming the superintendent, she stated she was looking out at the Sunday school audience and she noticed all the beautiful ladies who were in their mid to late 90s. Therefore, the Golden Girls began. <laughs> During the pandemic in 2020, our in-person Sunday school ended. In 2021, we started our virtual Sunday school classes on Facebook and YouTube, and this was an instant success. On April the 3rd, 2022, our in-person Sunday school class returned, and we were all thankful and blessed for our teachers and students to return. Our Sunday school classes consist of our youth classes, which are beginners and primaries, intermediates and juniors, and our young adults. And our adult classes are adult class number eight, our men's class, and our women's class, which was number one and two, but they are now combined and it's one class and they are the women's class. And our Sunday school motto is, gather the people together, men and women and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates, that they may hear and that they may learn and fear the Lord your God, and observe to do all the words of this law. And that comes from Deuter Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 12. Oh, wonderful. But you know what? Mm -hmm. I was kind of really hesitant. I remember uh, Sister Jean asking me what I'd like to do uh, uh, online mm -hmm. teaching. I looked at her and I said, oh, uh-uh. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't feel right. comfortable doing that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> right. And she asked me again and I had to pray on it and I thought about it and I said, well, I'll try. Yes. You know what? Mm -hmm. That has got to be a wonderful way yes, to spread is. the word. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think it has been very successful. 
Yes, it has. Now, Darren, I see you doing a whole lot of stuff around the church. Hmm. So tell me, why are you still here and what else are you doing? That's a good question. Why am I still here? <laughs> My wife, Pauletta, has been here her whole life. So once we were married 16 years ago, I joined Greater St. John and I became a Sunday school teacher. Then I joined Brotherhood and became a teacher in Brotherhood. But I'm also co-chairman of the Men's Day Committee. I was an assistant supervisor of the Junior Ushers. Then I became the supervisor of the Junior Ushers. I'm the assistant superintendent under, uh, an assistant superintendent of Sunday School. And for the last seven years, I am a deacon here at Greater St. John. And one of the main reasons I am still here is with, and with our pastor teacher, Andre A. McGee, the way he preach and teach, I don't want to go anywhere. So I'm staying right here. Well, all right. Hey. <laughs> Couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> right. And by you venturing and you doing all these things, mm -hmm. I think God has something else in store for you. <laughs> but with that said, we have enjoyed our interview with you today. Thank you. Thank you. And for those of you out there, and listen, if you thought Sunday school was just for children, check it out. It's for you too. Until next time, I want to see you at Sunday school. Thank you. Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. Ruth, first Samuel, second Samuel, first King, second King, first Chronicles, second Chronicles. So Solomon, son of David, is having himself firmly over his kingdom. We have just read the first 14 books of the Old Testament. Yeah, give yourself. Oh, you're